I've been living in this bayou all my life. My family come here way, way back. It's a nice place to buy you. She can be peaceful and quiet. Except when the hurricane come. Wind, water, and rain like you wouldn't believe. So we build a levee to keep the flood water out. Sometimes even the levee don't work. The last time a hurricane come through, these houses get eight or seven feet of water in them. But we fix that now. We building a new, higher levee. That's my job. I work on the crew to build the levee. I built lots of levees before, but this one gonna be different. Some fellows come down here and say they got a better way to do it. They're gonna use tensar. They joke and say they're gonna show us how to walk on water. They don't know this old bayou. This old bayou is tough. Soil conditions here are truly tough. Some would say impossible. More water than soil. After a rain, a man can sink to his waist. Construction is almost impossible. In fact, it's common to lay 20 foot thicknesses of fill to achieve a crest elevation of 10 feet. A technique that can build a firm foundation here will work anywhere, from the easiest to the most difficult sites, even those that were considered economically undevelopable. We came here to prove that tensar geogrids can meet the challenges of the toughest soil conditions. The first task we faced was building an access road from the old levee to the new levee site. The site had already been cleared of trees using a crane mounted on a wide track swamp buggy. The first morning, more than a dozen trucks full of river sand were backed up and waiting to dump their loads of fill for the access road. Everything was held up by the survey team. They were struggling to place the slope stakes for the haul road. After the rodman had taken 15 minutes to move through this muck, we suggested to the crew chief that he roll out some Tensar SS1 GeoGrid so the rodman could just walk out to place the stakes. The chief looked at us like he thought we had a few loose parts between the ears. After about another 20 minutes, and the rodman moving another 15 feet, the crew chief came over and asked us to show him our suggestion. Two men rolled out the grid, walking on it all the way. In less than three minutes, they covered five times the distance the rodman had taken a half hour to cover. And soon everyone was out walking on the grid, even in street shoes, saying things like, this is amazing. Everyone that is, but this one big Cajun we call Bubba. No, that ain't right. We call him Big Bubba, because he weigh about as much as two regular people. Bubba say he's not walking on this grid. He say if he go out there, he sinks so deep, they're never going to get him out. But this fellow from Tensar, he said, Bubba, you sink in, and I buy you the biggest steak in your islands. All 300 pounds of Bubba was out on that grid in about two seconds. He walk on the edge, he jump up and down. But no matter what he do, Bubba don't sink. That Tensar passed the Bubba test. From that point on, it was easy. The sand trucks came in, and the first fill lifts were spread by a light dozer. We soaked the sand with water spray to assist in compaction. Then the loaded dump trucks rolled right out onto the site, with only about two feet of sand and a layer of SS1 geogrid between them and the muck. Muck which wouldn't support a man's weight. But I can't put it any better than the way Jim Jones, the job foreman, said it. We have put in uh, approximately uh, 50 trucks, uh, tandems, a day out here. Uh, we run the SS1 down. Uh, had no problems with uh, backing it up uh, on this muck and mire that we have. Uh, it has held up extremely well. I'm very pleased with what, uh, what I've seen so far. I think the stuff is amazing to me. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of people come out here and uh, see what's going on out here. And uh, when they've seen uh, the conditions of the construction going on and so forth, uh, they've been amazed with it. And uh, my people in the front office are extremely happy with what's going on. So Tensar Geogrids met the challenge. A layer of geogrid covered by about two feet of compacted river sand has converted terrain too weak to support a man's weight into a firm base, strong enough to bear the load of bulldozers and repeated truck traffic. But you might wonder what other techniques have been tried in these conditions. Would a high-strength geotextile work as well? So we thought we'd see for ourselves. It took six men to position the fabric. Rolling it out straight was almost impossible. And in the really soft areas, the crew found themselves in a bit of difficulty. With GeoGrid, it was a different story. 
Only two men were needed, and it supported their weight with ease. You can imagine how difficult it would have been to try to sew the fabric under these conditions. On the actual levee construction, one man could position the grid, two roll it out and overlap it. Unlike a geotextile, no sewing is required. As the actual embankment for the levee was raised, Tensar SR geogrids were used to reinforce the embankment, allowing for steeper side slopes and a 40% reduction in levee width. The conventional design called for a 224 foot wide levee. By reinforcing with Tensar geogrids, the levee width was reduced to 136 feet. The result was a savings of 100,000 cubic yards of fill per running mile. The settlement of the geogrid reinforced levee has averaged less than 30% of what would be expected if it had been built by conventional techniques. So a higher levee and a better measure of flood protection is maintained with less labor, materials, and man hours. Parish officials and consulting engineers on the job have stated that the new reinforcing techniques made possible by Tensar geogrids will revolutionize levee construction. Not counting the savings and right-of-way requirements, fill savings alone have been estimated by the state to approach $700,000 per running mile of levee. Put simply, Tensar geogrids are of tremendous value in any construction over soft soil. Tensar geogrids speed construction, saving as much as 50% of the labor cost and equipment time. Improve site access and reduce downtime. Reduce fill requirements. And allow the use, in many cases, of inexpensive, locally available fill, rather than precisely graded aggregates. But the advantages of Tensar geogrids apply to far more than just embankment construction. Controlling settlement and rutting is no longer a problem if Tensar SS geogrids are used at the base of construction platforms over weak and variable soils. Whether it's a car park or a hard standing, such as this marine platform storage area in Malaysia, or a highway, the grids are regularly enabling engineers to reduce the sub-base thickness by up to 40%. Tensar AR1 grid reinforces asphalt pavements to control reflection cracking, rutting, and fatigue cracking. A number of commercial and military runways in Scandinavia are already benefiting from its use. And the French highway authorities are proving that they can extend the life of asphalt pavements and get more out of their budgets. Hong Kong has particular problems with erosion of steep slopes. Tensar mat provides stability at the surface by reinforcing the grass root mat, a proven solution on both dry and occasionally flooded slopes. Unlike the Westminster Levee site, some areas of weak soil are relatively thin and overlay firm strata. In these areas, use of the Tensar Geocell as a foundation mattress allows embankment construction without removal of the soft layer and also ensures that any settlement is consistent. In Tokyo, the base of an embankment is reinforced with Tensar grids to intercept potential failure planes. Whilst in another part of Japan, the grids have been used to repair a slip on the face of a dam. This form of slip repair has proved to be not only successful, but extremely low in cost. This is because the failed soil is excavated and reused. The construction of slopes with very steep faces has tremendous financial benefits. Here, sand-filled bags are used to achieve a soft facing to a steep grid reinforced slope. In Taiwan, the grids have been wrapped around soil lifts and natural vegetation will provide an environmentally sympathetic face. A version of Tensar mat incorporating pre-cultivated turf provides an immediate green face to these nine meter high grid reinforced blast walls in a military installation. Creeping plants will cover over the exposed grid on the steeper corners. Hard facings to steep slopes and walls can be constructed using gabions, masonry, block work, and full height concrete panels. Hexagonal concrete panels were specified at this site in North America. Whilst in Japan, the designer used an inverted Y-shaped concrete unit, a spectacular effect. Well, I guess this old bayou not so tough after all. At least not so tough for the dancers. These folks around here are not going to have so much to worry about next time the hurricane comes.